is that? Is your linebacker room kind of a it's, it's a little bit of a melting pot where these guys are <laughs> yeah. from? Is yeah. It, is it kind of interesting to you to kind of watch? It is. Atlanta, Baltimore, yeah. Arizona, how those it, guys get along or how they intermingle? Yeah, it's been fun. There's just so many different personalities and and just all sorts of things that and they get along great. I mean, I mean guys from you know Arizona and guys from Atlanta or New Orleans get along. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Do they? Treat each other a little bit. Because, uh, I would imagine. Each other I mean, I always thought that. I mean, I when I was in college, you know, a couple of my good friends that I played with, one was from Atlanta, one was from Inglewood, California. Guys that I would have never met had I not played college football. So I think that's it's it's a cool thing to to be a student athlete because you meet so many people you never would have contact with. Does it challenge you to, to kind of? Uh, not we're anymore. I think early on. Or... I think as I've gotten older in the profession and more experience, you, you get a feel for how to coach different kids and different personality types. So, how do they? They're in. They're all end up here. How do they? They all adjust differently. I mean, foods are different yeah. here. Things to do are different. They're... What's been surprising is how well most kids adjust. Yeah. I, I wondered that when we first got here. You know how a kid from New Orleans would adjust to, to the Midwest and the weather and and all that stuff but our guys I mean they seem they're happy they we don't have many leave because they they're unhappy I, I think they adjust well and I think it's a testament to a lot of things kind of the program the, the different things they have here life skills all those things and then just coach Riley hey Trent go back to Marcus when you guys when you and Bob and kind of said where, where does he fit was it pretty obvious at the very start no because we we talked about him in a couple different spots inside you know because of his physicality and size and then you know we we also wanted a guy into the field and the outside that could that could move like him so we talked about a number of different spots with him until we landed on that that field outside back I, have, I know it's only been a handful of practices but things that you projected do you see in some things right now or is it yeah. still kind of working no there, it's actually been better than i thought it'd be uh, I, I, I thought they'd struggle a lot early just with all the new uh, calls and all the new communication, but guys have really taken to it pretty well. Him specifically, though, in that spot? Yeah, he's part he of that. Yeah, yeah, I think he's done a good job, and, and he's picking it up pretty well, faster than I probably thought he would. How about for you guys? Has, has there been any adjustment period for, for you guys to maybe stop and think and, and you know maybe have to adjust your approach going into a day of practice? Uh, well, luckily things move so fast you don't have time to stop and think. But no, it's been good, and Coach Diop has been great. He's been great to work for and fun to work for. His energy and just the, he's like that all the time. Meeting rooms all the time, so it doesn't matter. So that's been fun. In this defense, is there like a, an absolute thing that your your linebackers have to do in that inside spot? Like some of your non-negotiable, like the, the number one thing they got to do. <laughs> yeah, they they got to be downhill players. They got to be solid and tough against the run. I mean, that's that's number one. And then they gotta they gotta be able to make all the calls we need them to make. So those are the two top things. It seems like just in watching you kind of coach them, you keep saying forward, forward, mm -hmm. forward, come yeah. down hills. That it seems like that would be a position that a linebacker would love to play. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and I think they're taken to it and they're having fun with it so far. So. Uh, they, they've done a good job so far. We just got to keep keep getting that as practices go on, and and we keep having padded practices and, and keep developing that physical attitude day in and day out, where it's just a reaction to get downhill. Is that how significantly different is that from what you guys were maybe teaching a little bit last? It, it, a little different because we were more scrape players in a four three, and you're more plug players in in the new defense. So I mean, it's not because we were scraped to downhill, so it's not a tra. Uh, Big difference, but the, the initial movement's a little different, yeah. When you say scrape, you mean kind of going to the outside, like filling in a hole maybe further down the line of scrimmage as opposed to going right down. Yeah, I mean, we had four guys up front that ate up blocks. And right. so you were, you know, you could play with a little bit lighter kid that could get over the top and then shoot a gap or something. You know, now we're, we're, we're in a couple different fronts and those guys need to be just plug players. Do you feel like you've got guys who could, who could fit that? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I, I've really liked what we've seen from, from the first group, Chris and Dedrick, and then guys like Greg Simmons and Avery Roberts and Muhammad and, and Purnell have done a good job. Seems like Chris is almost made for that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, this definitely, I was telling them about Dedrick too, that this probably fits their strengths a little bit more. Yeah, so I'm excited to, to watch them as they keep growing in this thing. Well, Chris is a guy that 
it's almost just kind of assumed that you know he's going to play well. There's like a comfort level yes. there. And really, he hasn't had crazy reps. I mean, he was forced into action a couple of years ago. He yeah. hasn't had all these injuries. But how unique is it to have a player that is just kind of, you know, as reliable as he is going into the season when you haven't had that, many, that much game experience? It, it is unique, and it's, it's unique how positive and and just persistent he's been with because when he when he filled in our first year here he played really well I mean he came in in Illinois and had 17 tackles um, so he's done a lot of good things then just because of you know who he was behind and and the way things worked out he didn't get as much this last year as he did the year before a lot of guys wouldn't have handled that well but he has and he's just stayed focused positive and then I mean it's he's reaping those benefits now